To the devil. Why did you open a casino in the first place? It's a good way to lure in prey. At a time like this, plenty of b****s want a place to be as greedy and unlawful as their souls desire. And I, as generous as I can be, am willing to give it to them. Besides, who doesn't like seeing what Horizons mortals are willing to take their chances? It's art to me. Helps me keep my mind off other things. So, King Dice, your new eyes let you see what a person's soul is like, right? What do you see if you look at the devil? Well, 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 somebody did their homework. Yes, a bonus of the contract I signed to become manager was that I would be given eyes that used to belong to a demon, granting me the power to look inside people's souls. Can't see everything, of course, mostly just their most guilty desires, but it's more than enough to make the job easier and much, much more interesting. And, well, I'll admit one day curiosity got the better of me, and I thought, what if I took a glance at the devil himself? And, well, honestly, I wasn't even surprised. He doesn't have a soul. So when I decided to take a look, I just saw him looking back. Dice, why did you ever go to the casino in the first place? And do you still like it there? Why did I go to the casino? Well, I made a deal. I didn't exactly have a choice not to go. Of course, back then I thought it would be terrible. I thought I was just gonna be mincemeat for the demons working under the monstrous devil. But no, I was a dealer and the devil turned out to be just a boss hiring employees. In his own way. <laughs> And if you play your cards right, you learn to love the place. I did, and hell, I fixed the place up. It was tasteless before I showed up. For which, you're welcome, by the way. Oh, what would I do without you, King? <laughs> Cuphead and Mugman, how do you and all of the bosses get along nowadays? Especially like Dr. Call, Wally, The Phantom Express, Briny Beard, etc. What happened to them? Ugh, we might as well be friends with them. Well, most of them. <laughs> Wally's doing alright, I think. He's kind of a grump most of the time, but his son is pretty cool. Oh yeah, turns out me and Wally Jr. read the same comic series. Oh, he always comes up with theories on it, especially theories about how to bring all the science fiction stuff into real life. He says the series is the main inspiration behind his studies. <laughs> Nerds! The Phantom Express we haven't seen in a while, they're always moving. Yeah, because according to the Accursed, as soon as the train stops, they'll stop being undead ghosts and fully move on to the afterlife. Yeah. For all we know, the train might have already stopped. Me and Briny Beard are buds as well. He tells me about his adventures and battles and treasures and everything. Him and his crew are so awesome. <laughs> He's alright. I guess. Maybe one day he'll take us with him! Yeah. Uh, Dr. Carl, though, I, I am a big fan of his work, let me tell you. I feel like a few of his wires are a bit screwed. I do like his robot, though. He actually let me be his assistant for a small while. I gotta learn so many things! You mean he let you be his lab rat? I practically had to rescue him before he turned into some Frankenstein's monster. I was only helping him with some tests. Devil doesn't usually wear clothes. Does he only wear them on special occasions? Or whenever dice makes me. Oh come on, even other demons wear clothing. Besides, you look good in these. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so? Mr. Wheezy, have you actually tried to get along with Cuphead and Mugman? I mean, you can't be mad at them forever. Ha! Can't be mad at them forever? Bet I can! Well, I bet you can't! Oh, really? What you betting? Uh... All of my salary for the next six months! What about you? Oh, yeah? Well, I bet my entire car! Deal! Deal! I'm going to hate you until the day I finally die! We are gonna be absolute besties! Cuphead. Mugman. 
Try as I might, I cannot figure out how your internal organs work. You appear to breathe through your mouth and nose, but you don't have a neck? So where does the oxygen go? Does it teleport? You have red blood cells, so I know oxygen gets to your lungs somehow. Your heads are hollow, but where is your brain? I assume at least Mugman has one. What happens to food when you eat? Do you even need to eat? Are your eyes just painted on? I'm embarrassed on behalf of modern science that we have no clue at all. We just sort of exist and run with it. Isn't that one of those things that Dr. Carl used you as a lab rat for? I wasn't his... Oh, whatever. Uh-huh. We save those people's souls and this is what we get. Seriously though, we have no idea, so let's just settle with the... Uh... Magic. We're magical! Lots of things are magical around here. I mean, sometimes for no reason at all, random objects just come to life. And usually, all they get is just a pair of eyes or a mouth, and we just don't know why. Yeah, Mangostein was like that. Yep. And it can happen anywhere. Last week, a traffic light near our apartment came to life. But it kept freaking out and messing with the traffic, so a bunch of construction guys came over and took it down. Yeah. What do you think they did to it afterwards? Magic! <laughs> My magic, to be exact. So, this is for everyone at the casino. Have you all ever played Truth or Dare? And if so, what are some of the craziest things people have done or admitted? Since Cuphead's pranks are usually always so extreme, do any of you use it as a way to get back at him? Since I'm pretty sure he wouldn't say no to a dare ever. No, we haven't. But now that you mention it... Truth or dare? What are you, children? All right, Cuphead. Truth or dare? Dear. Oh, boy. I dare you to go outside shirtless and sing at the top of your lungs. Boy, what you gonna say uh, that game? Oh, boy, boys. what you gonna <laughs> say that game? Zelma, Zelma, and it's your... Hey, hey, let me take that shot once... <laughs> Somebody threw a shoe at me. <laughs> it was for a good cause. Then here's another good cause. I dare you to spend the rest of the game in a flapper dress. Wow. Ha, howdy, fellas. How'd I look? Like, I might bring <laughs> this entire business down just with that. Take the damn boots off. Truth or dare? Oh, dare. Come on, let's step it up. I dare you to kiss Wheezy. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. No! You know half the game won't work. Nobody here will say the truth. Well, at least the other half is still entertaining. A kiss from Wheezy won't help his smoking addiction. Hey, Muggs. Truth or dare? Um... Dare, of course. I dare you to write a letter to Carla Maria, finally confessing to- Truth! 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 All right, truth. <laughs> What would you say in a letter like that? What? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't really think about it that much. Truth. <sighs> Do you really not think about it, or are you lying? Hey, Cuphead. <laughs> Dare you to drink this demon-only bourbon. Won't that kill him? <laughs> <Ooh. sighs> you know, it's not actually that bad. Huh? Not hey, dice, dice, dice! Like what? <laughs> I'm helping save your brother's love life over here. Truth or dear? Truth. Oh, like hell you're gonna say the actual truth. Still truth. Oh, come on. Fun. You know what? Dear. I dare you to raise my paycheck. And back to truth. All right, all right. How's this then? I dare you to spend the rest of the game with your head spun upside down. Well, how's this? <laughs> Happy now? <laughs> yes. All right. Your turn, Cuphead. Bring it on! Truth or dare, Cuphead? Look at me in the eyes. Truth or dare? <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't, you look too weird. You did this, Cuphead. Now look <laughs> me in the eyes. <laughs> dear, dear. All right, now listen up, because I'm actually starting to feel sick. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, here's your deal. As you know, in the devil's office, there's a lift that goes deeper into hell. You will use it. Go down about four levels and then bring back some sort of proof of being there. How is he? D do you see him? Where is he right now? Oh, has he fallen down the pit yet? Is he gonna make oh. it? 
I, I don't know. I, I can't see. Oh, come on, man. Think. We have to know if he's all right. Well under pressure. Can I flip my head back? <laughs> nah, -uh, game's not finished yet. <sighs> <laughs> Wait! I see him! I see him! <laughs> Guys! I see him! He's really close! <laughs> My proof is the devil! <laughs> what? Uh, what?